Now the second step is to put a wash over top of this to enhance all of the cracks and all of the grain texture in here. Now I'm going to give you two different recipes for a wash and either one will work pretty well. The first recipe is going to be using liquid shoe polish and I've got Kiwi Liquid Brown Shoe Polish and Kiwi Liquid Black Shoe Polish. And the recipe is very simple. It's one part brown, one part black, and that's it. Now, some of you may not have access to liquid shoe polish. You may live outside the United States and this brand may not be available to you. In those cases, you will probably have to go to an art store. And these are the two uh, ingredients that you can also use for a wash instead if you don't have shoe polish available. First is a sepia India ink and the second is a matte fluid medium. These are both available at art stores. Now matte fluid medium might have kind of a strange name and you wonder what in the world is this stuff? This stuff right here is basically used to glue pigment down onto, uh, uh, onto the canvas when you're painting. Matte means that it's going to be a matte finish when it dries, not glossy. Medium means it's actually a glue that's used to glue pigment. And fluid means that it's actually a fluid, uh, similar to like heavy cream. So that's about the consistency of what matte fluid medium is. Now in order to mix these up, you're probably going to have to have some plastic cups, some measuring spoons, and I would get your own set of measuring spoons. Don't borrow them from the kitchen. Buy your own set to mix paints and stuff with. And the last thing are probably some baby wipes. Uh, these are moist baby wipes, and they got a little bit of moisture to them, so it'll help us wipe the surface off. If you don't have moist baby wipes, you can just use a paper towel or a Kleenex and just dampen it slightly, and it will do the same thing. Now I'm going to mix up our first recipe using the brown and black shoe polish. And uh, you can just, if you want, you know, take a big screwdriver and right under the edge here, if, if you pop it under the edge, you can take and kind of pry uh, that lid off of the top of the shoe polish. I've done this so many times, I can just kind of ram my thumb under there and then just pop it off with my thumb. But, uh, you know, if you're not used to doing that, then you might want to get a screwdriver to do it. Basically, we're just going to use one part brown and one part black. So I'm just going to pour uh, one part brown in there. There we go. I'm going to pour one part black. There we go. That's it. And of course, uh, you know, wipe your uh, teaspoon measure out. Then we're going to take these two and we're going to, well, I've got kind of a drip on the side of the cup there. Let's get rid of that. And we're just going to take these two and we're going to mix them up like this. And the wash is done. Okay, so much for that. I'm going to wipe this off, and we're going to go ahead and apply this to one half of our floor here. Okay, I zoomed in a little bit. Uh, here's our wash, and what we're going to do is we're just going to dip the brush in, and we're just going to liberally uh, paint this wash on top of the floor tile. And this is going to be very dark, but that's, that's okay. This uh, shoe polish will take a... It, it gives you a good three minutes before it starts to firm up and dry. So it's probably enough for you to uh, put on and wipe off without, uh, without too much trouble here. So I'm just kind of uh, uh, liberally applying it. You just want to cover the surface really well. And then once I've got the surface here, uh, I'm just going to scrape the outside uh, of the brush on the uh, cup here to get rid of the excess. And then I'm going to kind of daub this up a little bit. Okay, daub it up, scrape off the excess. Dab it up from the ground, scrape off the excess. There we go. Okay, that's pretty much done. Now the last step we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, uh, take this moist baby wipe and we're just going to very carefully, uh, we're not going to hit it really well, we're just going to very lightly just sort of uh, uh, dab over the surface a little bit. And, you know, if you take off too much, it's possible to take off too much, then you might want to hit it again. So, uh, just kind of, I would just kind of dab it a little bit in certain areas like that. Just enough so that around the main rocks you, you see the dirt. Now, there are a few places where it looks like, well, you know, I'd like to see the dirt a little bit more. So, I'm just going to reapply it here just a little bit. And when you reapply it, it will kind of want to run back down into the cracks, which is, which is what we want. We want it to run back down into the cracks. So I think that 
is probably just just about right it's enough to enhance all of those little details and when we dry brush it all of the rocks and stuff are going to pop out really nice and when you get done with your shoe polish mixture this shoe polish actually washes out with water so you can just sort of take your brush and uh, uh, get a cup of water and, and rinse it out that way so it's really pretty easy to clean up after you get done with it now for our alternate wash, we're using equal parts of uh, Sepia India ink and matte fluid medium. Now I've got to tell you on the Sepia India ink, before you use it, this stuff has a tendency to settle. So take a small, you know, uh, paintbrush handle and dig around in the bottom. Sometimes when you lift this up, you'll see clumps of actual pigment on the end of your brush. If you don't do this, uh, the first pigment you get, the ink is going to be, you know, kind of thin, and you'll go, well, I guess I have to add more ink. And then later on, when you get down into the uh, pigment, you're going to go, man, this is really dark. I wonder what went wrong. Uh, so mix it up ahead of time, you know, and then put the lid on it. Shake this sucker up. That should do it. Okay. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a equal parts of India ink and matte fluid medium. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a, uh, a teaspoon and of that, there we go, and then I'm just going to take the matte fluid medium, about a teaspoon of that, and we're going to pour that in there. Okay. Okay, and let's wipe our teaspoon measure out. Let's give it a mix and see what happens here. Okay. Let's get this lid back on here. Okay, I'm going to take and I'm going to mix this up. And you're going to notice if you use this type for a wash, this is actually a little bit thicker. Notice that I did not add any water or fluid retarder. If you've watched other videos, sometimes, you know, fluid retarder is nice to keep it from drying. But Usually for something this simple and quick, uh, you don't really need anything like that. So I'm just going to apply it straight on there. So let's give this a shot and let's see how this acts. This will act a little bit differently than the shoe polish. If you look at it, it feels like it's going on a little more like just solid brown paint. And it doesn't really flow quite as well. Like I said, you know, you could add water and thin it. And I would actually suggest that you test this on uh, some scrap blocks before you actually do your real floor with it because your brand of India ink and your brand of matte fluid medium may act a little differently than this one so uh, this is actually quite a bit thicker now once I've got it on there the next thing I'm going to do once again is I'm going to scrape it off on the cup and I'm going to daub up any excess uh, any excess that's on the surface here just kind of dab it up a little bit you just want to kind of mop up the puddles. You don't want to really take it off of the surface, uh, if you can help it there. Okay, we've got that. And then finally, we're going to take a baby wipe, and then we're going to just lightly kind of wipe up over the surface. Now, I have found that the uh, uh, this particular method, using the uh, uh, sepia India ink and the matte fluid medium, it's almost more important to dab it up you know, using a baby wipe. Uh, when we did the shoe polish, I almost could have done without it. I almost felt like I was wiping more of it off, and it would have been just straight to paint it on and wipe up, wipe up the drips without, uh, without messing with it. So, that's pretty much it. Now, after the ink wash dries, this is uh, kind of what the two sides look like. On uh, the left side here is the shoe polish mixture, and on the right is the uh, ink and the matte fluid medium mixture. If you look at it, they're really pretty close to similar, although on the shoe polish one, you can kind of see a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if you can see that, but once we dry brush it, you're really not going to see any difference. Just, you know, with the dirt color and with the ink wash, I kind of prefer that the uh, ink and the matte medium a little bit better to how it looks, but I think once we dry brush this, this is all going to look really close to the same. 